Hello guys, welcome back to my page. I remain my humble self, the Eichmann. If you are coming across my page for the first time on my channel, I would like you to share the video, drop your comments at the comment section and remember to follow and subscribe to my channel. Few days ago, 27 House of Assembly members in River States defected from PDP to APC in support of their organ. Is so weak, you understand? It, it gets some certain things where they for our constitution, eh? We know they work, but it, those particular things they exist in the constitution. So after that, this man, Carlo Carlo, he came on Channel TV and say and started saying that these people don't lose their seat according to the constitution. I don't know if they are telling us. We just come back from we just come back to Nigeria newly because all this thing where they happen now don't happen before. So many people don't defect from one party to other. Whether the party they get issue or the party no get any issue, nothing has happened to them. How possible you do you think that this thing will feel happen that these people now we defect from here to here that? They go declare their seat vacant according to waiting day for the constitution. According to this man, is it possible? Well, we are watching how the thing unfold as days comes by or goes by. Anyway. But listen to this interview by Arrest TV to this man, Carlo Carlo, on how he described it and his explanation on and why he said that. These people have lost their seat that they are calling on INEC to conduct a rerun in those consequences that those guys come from. These are the things you see in Nigeria. All these are our leaders. This is how they are. These people when I wait they fell from here to here. Are they telling me that if they continue to stay in this particular part three where they did? Why they are jumping like one hour from one tree to another? If they continue staying in this place, that that particular thing they will bring to their consequences that they will not do it. The reason why they jump from this place to this place like one hour, we say, not just for their own interest. If you don't know, not for your own interest, we voted them in there, or your own interest, whether you voted them in. On our INEX selected them for us. You get the point. They are doing everything for their own interest, not for you. Listen to this interview and drop your comment at the comment section whether you think this can happen. Because we know that so many people, even from the Senate, as a representative and federal house, some of us have defected and nothing happened to them. But those times, this news came out that that, that, that the court will declare their this thing vacant and this will happen and this will happen but it never happened till today so how possible do you think that this one will be now get this information share this and drop your comments at the comment section we move regardless let's go and get this on the river state house of assembly and uh, the governor sits comfortably in his house Why the River State Hallow Chamber remains unrepaired after by individuals and suspects that have been so named and the governor has done nothing. The River State House of Assembly recently experienced turbulence with its membership divided into two, including a on the assembly complex one faction remains loyal to governor fubara while the other is loyal to fct minister newsom wiki who is the immediate past governor of the state meanwhile the people's democratic party is asking the electoral body INEC to immediately begin conducting fresh elections in the 27 state constituencies in river state the party says the demand becomes necessary following the alleged vacant positions occasioned by the defection of the 27 former River State House of Assembly members to the All Progressives Congress. 
In a statement, PDP National Publicity Secretary Debo Ologwagba argues that by defecting from the PDP, the political platform on which they were elected to the River State House of Assembly, the seats of the 27 lawmakers have become vacant by Section 109, Subsection 1G of the 1999 Constitution. The Labour Party is also calling on the Speaker of the River State House of Assembly to declare vacant the 27 seats of the defected members without delay in line with the laws of the land. Joining us now on the morning show is Kalu Kalu, a lawyer and a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress APC. He will be joined by His Highness Anabs Saraigbe, National Coordinator, South-South Leadership Forum, former National Publicity Secretary, Spokesperson Pandef, former state security advisor to the River State government during former governor Peter Odili, Niger Delta activist and elder statesman. Good morning and welcome to the morning show. All Good right. morning and thank you for having me today. Good to have you. All right, I'll start with um, Mr. Kalu Kalu. Let me start with you, especially with regards to the statement made by the PDP and the Labour Party calling for the 27 seats to be vacant or declared vacant and INEC should proceed to conduct fresh elections following the constitutional provision that if you um, defect my party, then that seat is considered vacant. Can you interpret that part of the constitution for us? And are they right in making claims that those seats are currently vacant and INEC ought to conduct fresh elections? Already, the, 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 20, the 27 affected the constituencies, their seats are already vacant. Going by the provision of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as authored, that is precisely Section 109, Subsection 1G of the said Constitution. So once you move, once you defect from the political party upon which you won election to another political party, before the expiration of the house upon which you were elected, that you automatically lose that seat. So there is no uh, 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 need for any institution to declare that seat vacant. That seat, by the provision of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, is already vacant. They are vacant. All INEC needs to do now is to commence the process of uh, conducting uh, by elections into those affected the uh, 27 uh, uh, state uh, constituencies in, in River State. That's the law. And uh, there, are, there are decided cases in that. The, uh, this thing happened in, uh, in, uh, in Ondo, in the, in the case of uh, Abe Gunde versus uh, Ondo State House of Assembly, and the Supreme Court rose to the occasion and said, having left the party upon which you, lost, upon which you won the election, you've lost your seat. That case was reported in 2015, it's the Nigeria Weekly Law Report, part 1461. Even the one that was just uh, decided uh, last year uh, 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 by, the, by the Court of Appeal, in the case of uh, uh, Oguroji versus Omahe, the court was also very clear, the court of appeal was also very clear on this issue of uh, uh, legislative uh, members in the house, leaving the political party upon which they came to the house, that once you, once you leave, it's automatic, it's automatic. Once you leave, you've lost that seat. So that's the position. And uh, we expect INEC before the end of today, or say by, by, by tomorrow, to come out with, uh, with a statement on mm -hmm. when they will conduct the next uh, 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 by-election to feed those uh, 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 affected uh, areas in, uh, in, in River State. Okay. So that's the law. Okay, so Mr. Kalu Kalu, some clarification. Are you an APC chieftain or you, you know you are with the PDP? Because we saw you a lot with Elijah Atikwa Baka during the Chicago saga. So I want you to clarify that. But secondly, there's a caveat, Mr. Kalu Kalu, and you know the caveat. The caveat is if the party is in division, that's the caveat. If the party is in division, is in units or, and that's when when the lawmaker defects, you don't have to challenge your seats for your seat again. If the party is in division, because a letter was written here stating the fact that 
There is no division in the PDP. And that's what the deputy legal assistant of the PDP in River State did right on. I will also press it further. It is not that Uhuru, as it were, for INEC to call those elections. Look at the case of YPP. There was no qualms in YPP. Senator Uba defected. Till date, they've not put up a seat for a by election. It defected to the APC. So it's not as easy as that. What do you take? What, what's your take on this? Uh, let me start from your first question as to uh, my membership of APC. I've said it on this platform that I am a member of APC. Okay. That I started my political journey with Congress for Progressive Change, that is CPC, when Buhari ran for the presidency of this country in 2011. I ran for House of Representatives for Arochuku or Hofer Federal Constituency in 2011 under CPC. I lost in that election. And in 2011, uh, 2012, there were talks on how to bring all the opposition political parties together to form a stronger political party. And to be precise, on, this, on the 6th of February, APC was bettered. And I was part of the major arrangement that formed APC. And when APC came on board in 2013, in 2015, the party deemed it fit, having considered my uh, uh, participations in the major arrangement, gave me tickets to run the election under the platform of APC in Ohofia South State Constituency. And ever since, I have been a member of APC. And mind you, uh, 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 Rufai, I'm a lawyer. And as a lawyer, I take briefs from clients. Okay, so Alagia, in 2022, 20, 20, I just want to clarify. In 2022, so Alagia Atiku Abaka was your client. Atiku Abu, Abu, Abu Baka never briefed me for any matter. But PDP as a party, I, I did a couple of cases for PDP. So I, as, as, as a lawyer who is licensed to practice in this country, I took briefs okay. from, 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 from good clients. Okay, so you are an APC, APC member. APC never gave me any brief. Okay. So should I go home hungry? No, should I no, go no, home no. hungry it, because it, I'm a no, member of APC? No, 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 no. Oga Kalu, just to clarify now, nah, don't get upset. So you are an <laughs> APC member, but you take so a lot of briefs question. from the PDP. So let's just clarify it. And I like the from way you've PDP, clarified PDP, yes. Yes, so, so PDP is your cash cow, APC Thank is your you. party. Thank you. Oh, your second Good. question. <laughs> that, that's the language of that's the language of Rufai, but that's not my that's not, that's not my language. Okay. Uh, on your second question, Rufai, yeah. on the issue of party, Rufai, the proviso in session one one o nine one G is clear that if there is a division in the party upon which the member came to the house in question, that the, that the person has the right to move to another political party. The question here now is, is there a division or a split in, in PDP? And the answer is clear, that there is no division in PDP. Yesterday, PDP made, a, 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 PDP came out with a position that they are against what happened in, uh, in, uh, in River State. And today, there is no conflicting uh, or dissenting opinion from, from another, an, another quarters or, 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 or uh, another group in PDP saying that what uh, uh, Honorable Debo said is not, is not the, 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 the position of PDP. Even in River State, as we talk, there is only one PDP in River State. And there is no other faction of PDP in River State. There is only one PDP in River State. At the national level, there is only one PDP at the national level. I, 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 I saw the, the, the video clip of the, of the purported uh, speaker 
of uh, 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 of uh, River State uh, House of Assembly. That uh, that today that you, you, we don't have a, a substantive uh, uh, national secretary of PDP. That there are several cases of. Uh, of, uh, there are several cases bordering on who is the national secretary of PDP. That thing is laughable. It's, 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 a very lame, it's a very lame excuse. And th that is not what the law says in terms of uh, division or split in the party. If you take, if you take uh, if, uh, the constitution of the uh, People's Democratic Party and read thoroughly, you will see that the deputy national secretary of the party is a member of the National Working Committee of the party. That's to show you how sensitive that position is. And they provided a deputy in the event that the, the substantive secretary, the national secretary, is, uh, is, is, uh, is not available or is, is indisposed, then you have a deputy who will, not take the, 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 who will not take up the responsibility of that office until the person comes back. And I can tell you for, for certain that there is no court process fired by Senator Samuel Anyawo in all the in all the in all the cases the 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 the, 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 the former the former speaker or the purported the member of uh, uh, River State House or somebody said that's not I remember that my office was even uh, uh, my office was even retained by a member of of, uh, of PDP to determine whether Samuel Anyawo who went to run election as the governorship candidate of PDP should still remain as the national chairman, as the, as the national secretary of the party, having gotten the ticket of the party to run for the governorship uh, 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 position in Imo State. And court gave order said, in the, while the matter is still pending, that status quo should be maintained. Nobody is, nobody is talking about that the, the, on the leadership of the party. It is only when there is the leadership crisis, when there's, when there's a split in the leadership of the party at the national level that you can never say that there is a split. But that, as, as we speak today, PDP is conducting its affairs without any faction in anywhere in the country, precisely at the national level and at the, at the, at, at, at the river state level. So there's no, there's, there's no uh, 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 split, there's no division in PDP. Okay. And I stand to be, uh, 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 to be quoted wrong. All right, okay. So no split in the PDP, but I have a question with regards to where governor, well, former governor, yes, on week, and now FCT minister stands. Is he a member of the APC or the PDP? I mean, to the best of our knowledge and what we know, he hasn't publicly declared that he's defecting to the APC. However, isn't it curious that the PDP chieftains, loyalists, have defected to the opposition, as it seems, in terms of the APC? Then the other side of that is that I know you're not a PDP member, so you cannot hold brief for them. But perhaps as an APC chieftain and a party member yourself, you might be able to explain perhaps why it seems like the PDP has been so docile, to put it mildly, with regards to with regards to uh, you know uh, Mr. Yeson Wike's acts or behavior and just openly in support of the APC while still being, at least to the best of our knowledge, a card-carrying member of the PDP. This question is for both Mr. Kalu and Your um, Highness. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, first of all is that in River State, number one is the, the, the members who've, the, yes, uh, Your Highness, and I'm sorry, but thanks for joining us this morning. The first thing I'm asking this morning is that from a political perspective, perhaps I shed more light on the fact that a PDP member has drawn people to the other side while himself still remaining a PDP member himself. And the fact that it seems, apart from the statement from you know, Mr. Debo Logangba that oh, they should vacate their seats, why are they do so docile with regards to go uh, former Governor Yeson Wike and his actions that are clearly Please, I'd like your take on this, and then um, perhaps Mr. Kalu can also weigh in on this too. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, first of all, yes, on Wiki, who initially said uh, that it's in PDP, which is malaria. to affect several persons in the state. 
um, we are surprised that one man wants to be in control of PDP in River State and also in control of APC in River State. Uh, politic, politics, it is not so. You must have ideology. That shows that there is no ideology in the politics we are playing. You belong to a party based on the ideology of, of the party. But if you want to grab power in both parties, it means you are interested solely and wholly in the party, in the power, not in the benefit of the party or what the party will bring uh, on board. So it's also wicked being in APC and PDP. I think this is the first time in the police of Nigeria where they can have a blind eye on somebody who's clearly uh, doing anti-party. Having said that, uh, recently uh, the, he has moved to the seven members of the House of Assembly from the PDP to APC. And this is a man who was championing that if you leave, you cannot take your vote of a party to another party. And who in the past went to court to restrain people or to remove people who have cross carpeted. And here is he encouraging people to cross carpet. Of course, the law is very clear. There is no um, problem in PDP presently. We don't hear of any crisis in the PDP. Uh, if the alphabetic crisis, that's for assembly. As for assembly, it's not PDP. So if they move from uh, PDP to APC, it means they have violated the constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and therefore they should be asked to vacate their seat and let INEC declare their seat vacant because they have left their party that elected them to power. But that is not the issue. The issue is one man who is not satisfied with power, who is not satisfied with money he has accumulated, is interested in controlling the entire state and to an extent the entire country. I think Mr. President should be wary because today is River State. We hope tomorrow it will not be uh, the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So rivers people are watching, and uh, we are not happy with the development. We pray that Wiki should retrace his step, the assemblymen should retrace their step, and to the line or the advice of Mr. President, wherein he said they should all go home and make peace. While Sim is talking peace, is pursuing peace in all, all, all corners, the minister is interested. He wants to be saved by all means. And I don't think that is the best for the country or the best for the state at the moment. Because if he continues with that, with his friend uh, Ganduje, I believe it will go beyond politics to economy. River State is a very special state in Nigeria with the economy and investment of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in this part of the, of the country. So any, any might spill over to the economic crisis. So we, as elders, we are asking them to come down, resolve their differences amicably, so that there will be peace in the state. That is where we stand. All right, Mr. Kalu. Uh, uh, my take on the issue of uh, Nelson Wiki having his two legs, one in APC, one in PDP, is very simple. PDP, as a political party, has the right to discipline him. And also have, PDP also has the right not to discipline him for whatever reasons best known to them. But as an Igbo man, you don't follow to, to fight on the streets. If you follow people passing or bypassers will also see you. 
So probably that is what PDP want to avoid in this scenario. But be it as it may, the people of River States are watching keenly to see how this thing ends. Today, uh, uh, Wike has not declared openly that he has left PDP to join uh, APC. He's still a member of, of uh, PDP. But we are seeing his, uh, his uh, antics in the politics of uh, River State controlling the structure of PDP and at the same time controlling the structure of APC in the state. But by and large, by and large, what he is doing, bad in the sense that politics is played on ideology. On which ideology is Wiki playing his own politics? Politics of confusion? Politics of, uh, uh, politics of what? So okay. when you look at all this, you will know that that is confusion and nothingness. And people should not follow him into, into his confused state. Okay. So a lot of people will argue with you. You've said, uh, you made the analogy of don't go into the school. I was asking who. Secondly, a lot of people will say concerning Governor Wiki, pure and simple, former Governor Wiki, that this man outsmarted the PDP and he took them to the cleaners because of their docility, pure and simple. And he dares them every time to come and fight him, but they don't have the gravitas, probably because they're complicit. That's some other argument out there. And he's shown it many times, because how much more are they going to pound and beat the PDP up before they settle the weekend matter? And he keeps telling them to their faces, you can't do anything. And some other people are saying, concerning this Fubara case, because the Fubara himself is not even aligning with the key stakeholders of PDP in the state as we speak, that Wiki might just take him also to the cleaners. So it's not a case of you don't want to rub raw shoulders with him. It's a case of he's been able to outsmart the PDP in their game. And if you are to count the scores in the game, it's 4-0 to Wiki. Four to Wiki, zero to the PDP. What do you say about some of these assertions out there? I'll come to you, sir, your Royal Highness, first. And afterwards, I'll come uh, to you, Mr. Kalu Kalu. Thank you very much. Um, everything you do in this world, it has a beginning and it has, a, it has an end. What I see that is playing out today Self. When you do certain things, karma will come, and how it will come, you don't know. Same Fubara is a loyal mem party member, a loyal person to same, I mean, to Wiki to a fault. And because he's so loyal, Wiki may think it can take him to the ground. But I can tell you, because of what Wiki has done in the past, Sim may not be willing to fight him. Wiki will now decide to fight himself. This is playing out. And that is why, and all the things he has done in PDP, he has a karma. So when nobody is fighting him, he would like to fight himself. You see, I will tell you a story. When they are to set up a judiciary inquiry against uh, former Governor Peter Odili, I was a lone voice who said, don't do it. But Wiki and Abeshi did. Their target was not even Peter Odili. Their target was Abeshi. I mean, uh, Abiyah Sakibo. But you cannot divorce Abiyah Sakibo from Peter Odili. And they tried. Today, we are still alive. Wiki rubbished Abeshi as a karma. And today, we are also seeing Ameshi trying to, I mean, Wiki trying to invite his own karma to come upon himself. As regards PDP not doing anything to him, I think nature has its own cause. 
Anything you are doing without the hand of God, this is how you yourself. Wiki is not consistent. It's known to everybody in Nigeria. It's not somebody can take his word to the market. Today he says this, tomorrow he says that, and it's not consistent. A man who is not consistent has no value. Some person think when you have money, you have value. He has no value because he's not consistent in all his actions, all his deeds, and in his word. Your so Highness, people try to ignore no him. Value. He has no value, but he could get people to defect overnight in a state. He still controls the political machinery of a state. He controls two political parties. And you claim he has no value? And the governor is shaking? What Your you're saying Highness? is moral value. You're talking about morality. You're talking about moral value. If you don't have moral value, you can get everything but without moral. What do you have? Our, our parents told, taught us good name is better than silver and gold. Uh, how if many? you have all the money and you don't have good name, okay, okay, okay. what do you have? Okay, you have okay. nothing. Okay, okay. We are coming to this world with nothing and we shall go with nothing. Okay. But we will leave character. Okay. Uh, Your Highness, we thank you so much we for your leave, time. We will leave... We, we thank you so much for your time. But Nigerian politics is not a place where people talk about moral values at all. But thank you so much for your time, Your Highness. I'll come to you, Mr. Kalkol. I felt the analogy you gave. And secondly, answer the question that Mr. Wiki has been able to do whatever he's doing and get away with it because of the docility of the PDP. And he's dared the PDP many times to come at him. But he can't. Uh, 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 Rufai? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, you know, I said, I say, as an Igbo man, it's an adage in Igbo land. And the same Igbo people say that when uh, an Igbo proverb uh, is, uh, is said and uh, the, the, the listener wants an interpretation, uh, and if the interpretation is given, that the listener's uh, uh, mother's uh, bride price will be lost. So, uh, Rufai, I wouldn't want your, your mother's uh, bride price to be lost. So we'll leave it at that. <laughs> on, the, on the issue of, uh, on the issue of uh, uh, Wiki being a powerful person, let me tell you, what happened in River State yesterday? The, uh, they just shot themselves by their legs. Wiki has lost totally. As we speak today, Wiki has lost 27 members of River State House of Assembly. That's the law. So what is the power there? That out of, uh, out of 27 members of, of a State House of Assembly to lose their seats, as we speak. And we have, uh, let me even bring it to the attention of Nigerians, that an NGO where I belong has written to the Inspector General of Police for the prosecution of those 27 affected, uh, to those 27 former members of PDP for impersonation. And All right, Mr. Carl, let's talk about because that letter. Let's talk about that letter. Let's talk about that letter. Right, since you've brought it on, I think it's really important to address that. So under the Center for Reform and Public Advocacy, you've written to not just the Inspector General of Police, but also INEC as well, and it was signed by you. So you wrote on behalf of the organization, yes. where you were calling the attention to the fact that, yes. well, in INEC's case, that those seats ought to be declared vacant and they should conduct elections. And in the event that they do not do that within 48 hours, you would proceed to court, right? Now, two questions for you. Yes. And, and this yes. is something we'd asked earlier on. As an APC chieftain, one would assume that you would be quite excited to see and welcome new members from the opposition. So you have gained 27 new members to the APC because you self-identify as a chieftain of the All Progressives Congress. It's quite curious that you are championing the defection case and asking them to vacate those seats in favor of the PDP. That's quite curious. The second aspect of that is, is this. It's not who, 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 so I think it's important not to mislead the audience by making a statement that has not been 
cleared by the authority that is in charge of that, which is INEC, to say that they are in, you know, it's vacant, you've interpreted the law by yourself. And, and you know, and if I mention another aspect of that, if they're able to prove that the party is divided. So you can't say just like that, that it's until it is proven, okay? So on that note, following this letter to INEC, what is the next step? If INEC don't respond, or if, because they haven't said anything yet, at least um, as, at, um, as, as at this time, what would be your next move? And what would be the APC's response as to, as to the fact that you are championing a cause that is against their party? You also could be accused of anti-party activities at this rate. Um, the first uh, issue which you raised is the issue of the letter we wrote to INEC on uh, uh, conducting a by-election in River State. And as a member of APC, why wouldn't I be happy? We are talking about good governance in Nigeria. We are talking about upholding the provisions of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. If the Constitution says, once you defect to another political party, that you lose your seat, that is the law. And Section 1, 1 of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria says that the provisions of this Constitution shall be supreme and binding on all persons. If, if the provisions of the Constitution is supreme, it means that by the provision of 1091G, that if you defect, you lose your membership of the State House. That is the law. And it's very clear. So will I say because I'm a member of APC and I will see the law and then turn it upside down and then support allow me to do that? That is why, as a member of a, of a civil society organization, we said, no, let the proper thing be done. And in, 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 in all sincerity, this has also called for, has also raised the issue of Nigerians to know whether INEC is actually an independent uh, entity or not. Because if there are decided cases by the APES court on this issue that once you defect, that you have lost your membership of the House, if division in the party. And today, there is no split in PDP. You, 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 we don't have any person that is saying that I am the national chairman of uh, PDP, or there are, there are two factions in PDP, there is none. And that is what the law is looking at. Once there is no such division, you have automatically lost your seat. And that is the law. We do, we, as a nation, why will we always want to uh, uh, wait for the, for, for, the, for the court to interpret on a, on a provision that is very clear, or on a provision that has received several judicial interpretations? This particular issue, this particular session 1091G has received several judicial Mr. interpretations Mr. by Kalu. the Apex Court Mr. of Kalu. the land. Mr. Kalu, you know we are all in this game I'm together. Too. We are all in this game of societal development. Have you been briefed by the PDP to take this to court? As a PDP lawyer, as your client, have you been briefed by them to take it to court? Because we all, we all know this game is not about NGO and rule of law. It's about... Uh, <laughs> have you been briefed by the PDP Rufai. to take this to court? Rufai, 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 the, the letter you just uh, uh, brought to, to the public domain was written by an NGO, not by PDP. I am not speaking for PDP in this instance. I am speaking as a member of an NGO. So the NGO has taken a position in this matter that there is vacancy in River State House of Assembly. And the proper thing to do in upholding the provisions of the 1999 Constitution is for the institution, saddled with that responsibility, to commence action immediately to conduct by elections into those affected uh, uh, state constituencies. That is what the law requires. Okay, why didn't and this NGO... We don't need, we don't need... Why didn't this NGO speak up in the case of Uba and YPP, which is another 
you know, one, that the YPP has even come out and say, we've got nothing. There's no fight going on. But Mr. Oba, Senator Oba decamped to APC because of his own political reasons. Why didn't this AGO speak or take that case up? Why is it this case of Rivers? Erufai, you know it's not easy to take up every several issues in this country. So it is only one you will be able to handle and run with that, that you can take up. We cannot take up, the, the NGO cannot take up. So we should even be commended for. We should. Are, are you part because of this if NGO? There are other, because there are, there are, there are, there are, there are there are thousands, there are thousands and one NGOs in this country. If they keep taking one, 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 we have a better society. Are you part of this NGO in any way, shape, or form? You are the, you are the NGO legal advisor. Are you part yes. of the NGO? In from any the way? letter, from, from yes, I am. Okay, I am. Okay, okay. So, I okay. Uh, I mean, Ayo, if you've got uh, yeah. one or two more questions to ask, it, it, I, I mean, the question around what next. I'm not sure that uh, Mr. Carlo has responded to that that following your letter to the IG, maybe perhaps I should ask if you've written, perhaps beyond IG and INEC, IG of Police and INEC, who else has received this letter? And beyond that as well, what's the next step for the, well, in this case, the PDP, since you're able to speak on their behalf? Well, PDP has made uh, their position known to the world. On the issue of the letter, we uh, have written to, to, the, to the IG. If the IG refuses to act, there are other provisions in our uh, 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 criminal laws that allow private prosecution of... Okay. So the, the, 27, the, the 27 members, the former members of the House, the seven former members of uh, River State House was Because they, today, they are still holding themselves as members of River State House of Assembly when the Constitution, the grand norm, the highest law we have in, this in, the, in, the, in the land, has declared their seat vacant. And when you, when, when you lose your seat, you are no longer a member of, right. that, of, 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 of that uh, hollow chamber. And when, you, and when you now hold yourself out, it means that you are... And, and when you now sit, to deliberate on state affairs, it means that you are now taking over the, 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 the governance of a state or part of, of the federation in a manner inconsistent with the provisions of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that the law allows private prosecution against those people. We're almost done, uh, Mr. Carlo. Just very quickly, the question is, have you consulted with your party, the APC, um, in terms of the leadership? Have you spoken to them? What's their take on this? What's their stance on this? And um, I'd like to get your thoughts on that. And then finally, for this NGO you talk about, Center for Reform and Public Policy, beyond this particular issue, what other cases have they championed? Very briefly, please. Several. Like? We... Example. We, we took, that's, that's, uh, that's what I'm coming up. We took up the issue of, uh, 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 we took, we took uh, Bola Ahmed Tinubu to court on the issue of his uh, involvement in, 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 activities in the U.S. in the past. We called on, uh, we, we, we took a, 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 a NDLE to court with the Bola Ahmed Tinubu for them to arrest Bola Tinubu for his involvement in, 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 in the past. So there are several. And we have even gotten with the, with the NGO, we've gotten several judgments in, 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 in the FCT concerning the, 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 so many illegalities by the, by the government of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So it's, it's not, if you, if you Google the NGO, you will see the activities of the NGO. Okay. Okay, I mean, we'll, we'll research more into the activities of this NGO and uh, probably we'll see if other publicized cases will happen. But thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kalu, for your time. And thank you for the clarification. You're a member of the Chieftain of the APC, but you're a lawyer to the PDP. On this particular case, there's something one person commented on, on one post, on one platform I saw this thing. He said that, that the governor of River State <laughs> should go and ask or Baseki, how he run his government for years without as of assembly. 
Things they happen for Nigeria. Things they happen. Do you, do you particular thing this man is saying now concerning the constitution, so the constitution has to do, that the, the constitution says that if he defeat that this will happen. But some people we know have defeated, nothing happened. Even when they are, when the particular party that brought them to power has no issue, this particular constitution did not come up. This and nothing happened. But today everything is peaceful. Well, let's look and see what we happen finally because these people have defeated is that they have they have defeated they have made it openly and on the side of Mwike Mwike is not yet in APC is in fact Mwike is in PDP and also <laughs> and the one is controlling the two parties in River State as it stands now the river state give them a do themselves now I'm going to share this video